Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This is for the month of March 2019. I have already shuffled the cards and laid them out here. The first card represents your energy and the other cards represents what's going on with you in the area of love. So let's get started Gemini, starting with your energy. We have the moon reversed, Gemini. Okay, so... You know, the moon upright tends to represent, you know, being confused, being like um, unsure about things, um, you know, missing information, um, feeling like, you know, like you can't see, foresee what's, what's up ahead or you can't um, differentiate um, between what is real and what is fake, or what is fantasy. Um, but with the moon reversed, I feel like you're being you you're feeling very clear. I feel, especially emotionally, Gemini. I feel like your emotions are much clearer than they were before. I feel like you are understanding things that you hadn't understood before, that you weren't understanding before. So it feels like, you know, certain things have come to light, so certain secrets or cer certain hidden hidden things have come to light. And um, yeah, you're just overall feeling a lot more clear about your emotions and about what's happening in your life. Okay, at least in love, in the area of love, I feel like. You're feeling a lot clearer about what what you desi what you desire, where you're standing, what and what you're feeling. So next up, we have the hangman upright. So I feel like there's a very stagnant energy when it comes to the area of love for you. Things aren't moving forward nor backwards. They're just kind of like at a standstill. Um, you know. And I feel like you're just waiting here for something to happen, for something to manifest. Um, okay, we have the Six of Wands upright. So this represents... Um, this is card of victory, but I almost feel like it's your victory, your personal victory. I don't feel like it's particularly victory in a relationship, though. It could be for some of you. But I feel like this is like your personal victory. Um, you might have, you know, you might have achieved something in your life um, that people are applauding you over or um, people are congratulating you. But it feels like personal success um, in this with this card. And we have here the Ten of Swords reversed. Um, so there is something that is hasn't ended yet, but I feel like it's on its way to ending. Um, yeah, especially with the hangman here on top. Like I said, I feel like there's no backward movement or forward movement. It's just at a standstill. But I feel like with the Ten of Swords reverse, I feel like something needs to end. Um, something needs to complete. To be completed. Or to be finalized, but I feel like because it's reversed, it's, it hasn't ended yet, but it's in that process. Um, yeah, so overall, Gemini, I feel like, um, I feel like you're, this card represents self-care also. I feel like you're, you're um, focused on yourself and focused on your personal success and your personal achievements. This can be career, focused on your own personal career. I feel like you're just paying attention to your own self now and um, um, doing things to, to improve your own personal life. And I feel like you're not really thinking about relationships right now. Because I feel like relationships are just kind of in this neutral state. Nothing is really happening. It's just very stagnant. Um, so I feel like you're, you're on your own here. You're taking time for yourself. Um, and focused on your own well-being and your own success. 
So yeah, yeah, Gemini, this was your reading. Um, I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Gemini.